Hi again, everyone. I'm Ali Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Michelle. Here's her story. Hi, Ali. My name is Michelle. It's Thanksgiving Day. Oh, so you see how far behind I am. I didn't do any Thanksgiving videos this this year. Probably should have. It's Thanksgiving Day, and yet again, this year, my mother throws a fit and ruined it. So, Michelle, why did you go in the first place? I recognize your name. I know you've been around for a while. So, why? Why did you go knowing who your mother is and holidays are their opportunity to fucking shine? <clears throat> My mother lives in Florida and I live in Kentucky. I come to visit on holidays in and vacation time. Although after this visit, I may never return. This year, she showed her ass by nagging her living boyfriend about some gravy he dripped on the floor, nagging to the point he told her to shut up and enjoy Thanksgiving. He had been preparing dinner all afternoon as she refuses to cook at all anymore. <clears throat> So after hearing the episode and her slamming doors, it was time to eat. She refused to eat at this point, and we began to prepare our plates and sit down. That just further enraged her to the point of physically pushing her boyfriend, screaming in his face, as well as spitting and threatening, threatening to get the gun and shoot him for talking to her like that. Awesome. Is this, a, is this my grandmother's house? This could be at my house, too. You know. Remember, my father tells the story the first time he went over to my mother's house, you know, my Virginia and, and Redento's house, that <clears throat> Virginia pulled a fucking shotgun on my grandfather because my grandfather leaned into my father and said, you don't have to eat that roast beef, <laughs> Brian. Virginia, where'd you get this? They're throwing this out behind ShopRite. <laughs> and she went and grabbed the fucking shotgun and started chasing him around. The rest of the family, the rest of the daughters are sitting there eating. He gets it away from her, puts the gun down. She goes down in the basement and starts fucking wailing on the fucking piano, singing, and nobody else moved the fucking muscle. <laughs> You know, imagine what our, you know, what our Thanksgivings were like. This is, this is what, this is what you go through. This is the chaos you go through. And now this woman, I'm assuming has got to be in her 60s or 70s with a live-in boyfriend. I mean, come on, come on. What do you expect, Michelle, you show up to a shit show like this in Florida, no less. And I love Florida, but this is, I mean, this is, this is as Florida as it gets. I've seen my mother pick and poke at him until he tells her to shut up, but he never lays a hand on her and handled it well as she was exploding. At this point, I'm very uncomfortable coming to visit, do you think? She seems to pick a fight and want my validation and sympathy like I'm, going, like I'm an emotional toilet. Her conversations with me are always about him and how he treats her, and it's all her and about her. Because she, now she wants you to come in and say, Ma, we're going to take you out of here and I'm going to take care of you. That's what she's looking for. She's looking for her golden ticket. She's looking for her golden ticket. <clears throat> and what better place to try to punch that card than at a holiday? This is the narcissist time to shine. This is why you don't fucking show up there. The Terminator eats turkey. I'm sorry to tell you that. For some reason, Terminators love turkey. They just do. They just do. That's why nobody really eats a turkey except for sandwiches during the rest of the year. You ever go, because Norm, ugh. it's just awful. It's just awful. <clears throat> Her conversation, oh, I'm sorry. It's always been that way since I was a child. Fights with her boyfriends. Boyfriends as a child. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? Where's your dad? She ruined that relationship too, if he's still around. Why are you, I don't know what, what his status is, where your father is. But something tells me your mother completely ran him off and then sabotaged your relationship with him. 
I was a child, fights with her boyfriends, getting up in the middle of the night to leave. Always been the emotional toilet for her. And I'm only a child, so it's all on me. She also feeds raccoons and other wild animals to where her life revolves around them and we have to eat at certain at a certain time sharply so her precious raccoons don't have to wait. Yeah, sociopaths always empathize with wild animals, feral cats, weird shit. Not you, them. And then they're going to structure their whole being and existence around that. And if you don't, then you're the asshole. <clears throat> As I was having a conversation with her, close to where they gather, she tells me to be quiet, not to scare them off, as they are more important than talking with her daughter that visits twice a year. Shouldn't visit at all. See, and there's your first, and there's your first mistake, is that you're going there twice a year in the first place. The narcissistic Terminator loves turkey. I mean, that's all I can tell you. They just do. Gobble, gobble. <clears throat> After witnessing her getting physical and threatening to shoot her boyfriend, it's just too much. I am 48 years old. She is 66. I could use some advice on how not to have to be this woman's emotional toilet anymore. Well, being that you live in Kentucky and she lives in Florida, this is a pretty easy one, Michelle. 48 years old. You're Gen X like me, born the same year as me, have the same, probably have the same issues, and think that you cannot go on with your fucking life without this fucking boomer asshole in it. Wrong. Wrong. They love turkey. This is an easy one. You don't have to go there. You don't have to show up there. You don't have to look and take her fucking abuse. Shortly after after my email, my narc mom needed her emotional toilet to validate the Thanksgiving table shit show once again. She created by provoking her boyfriend ad nauseum over dripped gravy on the floor. When he finally broke and told her to shut up, she decided to put her hands on him, spit in his face, and threaten to shoot him. This recording is of her, is her using me the toilet to rid her toxic waste her toxic waste on man on man hating entitlement by the way the house they live in belongs to the boyfriend my mother convinced him to put her name on the deed he's number four of long termers out of two marriages and many other short turners thanks for listening and feel free to share the video uh, there's no video here though that's the problem yeah there's no video here so if you can send me the video, you know, I could do a, 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 a another one on that. Um, videos are, are typically longer, are, are longer though. And based on what I'm hearing, I mean, I don't, I'd love to hear it, but I don't need to hear it. I don't think many people do need to hear it. Um, in a, you know, here's the thing, Michelle, you live in Kentucky. She lives in Florida. You don't have to talk to her. You can ghost and you can be done with her. Is she going to come out of Florida to come find you? Maybe. Maybe. Then you leave and then she'll go back to Florida. Could, what, is she, she going to move back out of Florida to go harass you in Kentucky? I doubt it. I doubt it. Your first mistake is the same first mistake so many Gen Xers make. You shouldn't have shown up there in the first place. There is nothing, 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 nothing forcing you to deal with this woman. Other than you are under the baby boomer spell that so many Gen, Gen Xers are under. Period. Stand up to her. You don't need her. Ghost. Fucker, you're already living 2,000 miles away from her. However, whatever the distance is from wherever she is in Florida to wherever she is in, wherever you are in Kentucky. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. Because all she's going to do is ride out this man. And when she's done going through men in her life, 
And this is what you always got to remember, okay, about these fucking degenerate boomers, especially the degenerate boomer women. When they can't get a man anymore, when their pussy dries up, then they want to become your problem. That's what, that's what it is. Don't be there. Don't be the Gen X failsafe when the baby boomer's pussy dries out. And that's all that this is. Because you don't have to be. You're 2,000 miles away. Just end it. <clears throat> so, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your contribution and story, Michelle. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read right on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype phone call, have a private video made, or you just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you as this channel is completely demonetized from YouTube by Google. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't on here and on Rumble. And also be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. <clears throat> I'm Ali Matthews. This has been Generation X Politics. Why not? See you later. Bye.